Hey y'all, this your girl L V. Serving y'all. This is Danielle Jones, and you're listening to ZMR Radio. Don't touch that down. <laughs> Man, y'all got to turn them radios, radios up. up. Y'all got to turn them up. Turn them up. Turn them radios request up. Your request. Shalom and welcome to the Request Live Show. The reason you are Mondays while everybody else hates them. It is I, your cool wizard, Simone. And we have the Mishra call with me, Lady V. Hello, people. Shalom. And I guess the guys are going to join us later. But here we are. Here we are. Another Monday. Another Monday. Today is Labor Day for the folks that get jiggy with that type of stuff. I was just telling uh, Lady V earlier, <laughs> why you call it Labor Day and then take the day off? Call Literally call the day work day and take the day off. Because we what we're going to do is the opposite of that. That's what we're going to do. Work day. It's all in your mind. It's psychology. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is boom. My old girl from uh, why did I get married? Boom. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, I forgot. I know what you're talking about. Her name Tasha something. You know she has a twin. Yes, I did not know that. And yeah. her twin is completely bald head. That's the only way I can tell the difference. Yeah, <laughs> her twin is <laughs> taking a director or something to that effect. But they both work in the industry. Um, she's just an actress. Her name is Tasha something. I forgot. I forgot what her last name is. If you out there, Campbell. What happened? Kim Camp. Campbell. Campbell. I'm about to say Campbell. I don't know why. I know it ain't the last name. That's Tisha Campbell. The daddy is okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. (laughs) That is. (laughs) Who that is? Who y'all have ever seen that? Let me tell you about Tisha Campbell. Like Tisha Campbell is. I don't know much about her. Like personal life but what she projects is kind of I'll just say weird because um she does definitely have a tragic story um she started off as far as my understanding serves I know she did like she started acting when she was very young her and Tashina Arnold like hooked up not that kind of hooked up but hooked up or whatever became best friends off of Little Shop of Horror and then they yes, all- one of my favorite yeah. movies yeah, yeah, they all grew up and then ended up on uh Martin show, and then that's how at least that's how I got to know him from Martin. Um, if I had seen Little Shop of Horror before then, I really ain't paid no attention because of course I'm a kid. But once Martin fizzed out, she did My Wife and Kids and some other stuff, but um I'll she kind of now I don't know if she has any works going on now that's like a uh, forefront. I saw one, but it looked like it was kind of like a parody movie type situation. But for the most part, when I see her, she's kind of riding off of the wind of her her divorce and the fact that when she was like three, if I'm not mistaken, she got raped. So um, I don't know. I'm like, that's kind of, it's definitely tragic. But every time I see you, I kind of don't want to hear about that or feel the energy of, like the I'm Still Here song, she kind of toured with that story, with, with that song. And she has another song where... She's I think out the, of order. I think, who? Who out of order? She's out of order. Oh, um, Tisha Campbell. That's her other song. Remember that one? Oh, no. I don't remember that one. Mm-mm. I the only other one. I sent you a while ago. She was... Actually, she had the girl who we talking about, Uh, boom, she's in the video. Dancing with her songs, You Out of Order. You out of order? It's te- it's it's terrible. Oh but yeah, no, I, I haven't seen that one. I mean, well, if I have, I, I don't remember at this point. The only one that I can remember is, um, I think the person that uh, raped her when she was three kind of wrote her a letter, um, apologizing for it and whatever. And she took the letter, she wrote it all over herself, and made a music video. What the? Yeah, I know. It's that's why I say it's just weird. Some uh some people and I I'm I'm sure I, I think you'll see of it. You will take a negative experience and you will ride that mother to the wheels fall off for attention or whatever will get you and then in the land of celebrity, 
it not only gets you attention, but it gets you money until the internet starts roasting you, and then that's the end of that. Like she got roasted on one show, and she got mad. <laughs> she got mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she took some jokes off. Oh yeah, she was giving it her all, boy. She was. Oh. <laughs> And they were like, man, what is she doing? Man, yeah. I'm working my heart out of here. It's like, man, yeah. blink now. Yeah, she she was not, she was not uh she was not having it. The people weren't having it and she wasn't either. But um Yeah, that's what I know for Tisha Campbell. Martin, talk about, talk we're talking about Tisha Campbell and how she can sometimes ride a wave of sadness into the abyss. Because you said Tisha Campbell? Who? You said Tisha Campbell? Correct. Yeah. I'm still here. Tisha order. Campbell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm still here. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah. That song is a classic. Make sure you play it, that. What? I'm done. That's about as classic as that little white. That song y'all got with the white girl. I don't know the song, but you said you know the name of it. Oh, I Friday? Give. <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah, that's all I'm talking about. Uh, how do you gotta have my bowl? Gotta have cereal. Wow, is that really the word? Gotta get dressed. Gotta go downstairs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you laid that thing out. I might have to check that out, like briefly later. Just I've never heard that or seen that. Well, yeah. for those of you that have just joined us, welcome to the Request Live Show. The reason you were hot Mondays while everybody else hates them. We gather here from 8.30 p.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday, as you will permit, to play the hits that you want to hear. Yes, this is a request show, so this is your show until 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have a total of three requests. Yep. Tell us the three hits that you want to hear. We got a big miss for call, so be patient as we play them for you, because a big as a miss for call family would be kind of take a little time to serve, so there it is. Sit back, relax, and let us serve you the hits that you want to hear. Check out the screen. You see it. The Green Squad, Simple as ZMR Radio. We take it. We give it back to the people, and we grow with the rest. You can also check us out on social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, where we stream live simultaneously with YouTube and Telegram. Tell a friend to tell a friend we are live on ZMR Radio. There it is. So, you know something I saw that I never thought about until I saw it? You know, the, uh, have y'all seen like the little Skeletor videos where the guy was like, remember, and then he'll say something and be like, until next time at the end. Yes. Okay, so the one I saw today said, remember, nowhere in the story does it say that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. Until next time. And then I thought about it. Nowhere in the story I'm does done. it <laughs> How did we say that Humpty Dumpty was an egg and the story never says that? <sighs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> I never thought about that until it said that. Like, why is this so funny? <laughs> Man, let me tell you, those little skeletal situations <gasps> is freaking hilarious. It's freaking I never said he was an egg. <laughs> I never says that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. So, okay, look at Yahoo. So, according to Yahoo, I said, how did Dumpty become an egg? So, Lewis Carroll invented the character as an egg in 1903 edition of Mother Goose's nursery rhymes. Humpty Dumpty is printed as a riddle with the solution at the bottom reading an egg with an illustration to match. So, that's how he became an egg. But the recent story is, like, legit. It, it like just saying the story Humpty Dumpty, uh, what Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, all the king horses, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But it, just looking at the words, it never says that he's an egg. So if you didn't know about the original version, yeah, I thought it was funny. What y'all want to hear today? Let me hear some Mark Nash flow, man. Let some, me hear some sit down, shut up. That day, Isha, Allah, he, that's what you're talking about? Yeah, Mark Dash Flow. That song my has been stuck in my head all day. It really has. Shout out to uh, Kaya and Mark Michal. It was really, I really want to know. The the song was stuck in my head, and <laughs> I'm concerned that you did it. Was, yes, I, that's, that, that, that's like one of my favorite channels to follow. But um, I wanted to know if he's still awake and listening. And if I missed it, forgive me. What is a mock dodge flow? 
Because even when I was singing it, I was like, what's a mock dash flow? Mm, call in, sir. Yeah, what is a mock dash flow? I'm, sure I'm sure he explained it in the song somewhere. I thought that he did, but I don't think he did. You know what you can do right now, Kevin? Sit down. So like, shit up. Shit. <laughs> so, so is it like Busta Rhymes not having no bars? That's what it sounds like. Let me say no, it's not like that at all. So uh Bull shared something recently, if any of you had the opportunity to see it, and I was like, wow, like I never thought about that either. Name a bar where that Busta Rhymes dropped that you was like, ooh, it probably never happened. Yeah. You were impressed by his delivery. You were impressed by his animation and the way that the speed at which he spit. Come but on, he never come said on, come anything on. profound. He never yeah, said not- anything profound. Yeah, he never said nothing like um nobody's supposed to be here, Deborah Cox. He never said nothing like that. <laughs> hey, shout out to Richie. Shout out to Richie. Uh Kiki Wild Duet. Hey, um, what's the name of that time hey. you and um, with you and Dwight? You and AC. Well, Sandy. Oh, oh, so, uh, you talking about Chanel? No, you and Dwight. Nah, you oh, Dwight. um, uh, sir. Yeah, let me hear that. If we got it, we got it. Of course. Shout out to AC for not starving the people. Yeah, shout out to Big Lee, AC. Uh, wow. Nothing. Shout out to Faith. And I'm going to yeah. believe this is in reference to um, Buster Rhymes. She says he didn't have to. It was just his, it was his flow. I just don't like the way he had to explain every correlation. Could you explain? I'm done. Because I don't know I'm what she's talking about either. So true. He doesn't have any bars. Yeah, I don't. I didn't realize that he didn't have any bars really until Book posted that. I was like, wow, he really has never said anything profane. We have just been hyped out off of. He he knows how to manipulate energy, but as as a, a musical artist, that's that's what you do. That is what you do. You set the tone for your. Listeners, so there it is. Let me hear the sparkles. The sparkles, one load of sparkles. All right, we got the sparkles. If you out there in ZMR Radio Land, go ahead, let us know what you want to hear. Yeah, the beautiful brown bears. Yes, Mm. beautiful brown bears and the tigers. The beautiful brown bears. Shout out to this to the Benin. To the (laughs) let me hear that. Let me hear that. Uh, that Dexter right there. Oh, where you at? Beneath oh, yeah. the dumb, where you at? That's a hot track. Where you at? It's time to rip in you who just got me back. You know what? This, this is a little, this is, it's a little off topic. Earlier, you know, I'm watching the screen and I'm assuming it was one of his instrumentals popped up that was playing. What was that dog? What was his cover photo? It was like a black guy from, looked like he belonged in Uncharted or something. I vaguely uh, have, I think, I can't really hear everything you just said, but I think I know what you're talking about. Um, I know. There's, he has two pictures. Um, yeah, one of the guys, uh, well, well, one of his instrumentals, I don't know which one it was, but the guy that was on there, like his cover art, looked like he belongs in Uncharted. I was like, what is this? I have no, no idea. Yeah. It was random, but I said, I was like, what the... It- I'm going to pick another song because it looked like um, Princess picked one of mine, so I'm going to pick something else. It looked like who? Benia Madame. It, it looks like someone else chose your, your option. Yeah, no, she picked one, so I'm um I'm going to go ahead and... uh, And that'll be $2, too, Princess. And uh, so oh, I'm going to pick another oh, one. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm looking for that right now. Um, The second one, we, we don't play the second one, as far as I understand. Unless, unless we do. I don't even think we have that anymore. So, you have another song that you... Yeah, play? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the second yeah. one we don't play anymore. That's we'll, it. We'll um, get clarity, but right now, no. What happened? No, I said we'll get confirmation, but right now, no. Oh, yeah, we don't even have it in our archives. But he- yeah, I mean, we might have it from where we originally received it, but we don't have it in our archives. In the meantime, between time, we're going to play some here. Still, and still send $2. What just happened? for p- ordering something that, that says still send $2 just for ordering something that's not on the menu. Mm. 
Yeah, if just a heads up, if you all request something, well, I'm going to say sometimes, because sometimes, sometimes, remember to put hashtag request. That way they don't get overlooked. Um, but if you don't put hashtag request and it doesn't get played, likely it's because it's not something that we play anymore. Times are ever changing. So there's that. But in the meantime, between time, it is 849. And if you have told a friend to tell a friend and they ain't here, call them. Be like, where you at? Believe or don't know where, where you at. It's time to repeat you who should come and back. But never know where you at. It's time to repeat you who should come and back. But never know where you at. It's time to repeat you who should come and back. But never know where you at. It's time to repeat you who should come and back. We in the last days, some gotta fall away. I told my
Look at me, I got a mock that's flow, man. Can't you see I got a mock that's flow, man? Best believe I got a mock that's flow, man. Come get like me, come get a mock that's flow, man. Well, yeah, yeah, we got a mock that's flow, man. All these haters need a mock that's flow, man. You at home watching, need a mock that's flow, man. No, we ain't stopping, got a mock that's flow, man. Mock that's flow, man. Mock that's flow, man. Well, yeah, yeah, we got a Mark that's flow, yeah. Mark that's flow, yeah. Mark that's flow, yeah. We are yeah, yeah, we got a mark that's flow, man.
book a buyer who could not know to buy enough to say. Even with a thousand tongues, I still be speechless. So Lord said for destruction, my life was until his grievance. Walking this tightrope, get balanced the staggering challenges of life. Basic instructions before leaving earth help us to see his plight. So we look to the Sabah for his diver ring. When seeking strength, we look to the amount of Yahushua's scheme. Not many can do this because they don't see it as we see it. To live by strict instruction rather than the lap of Jesus. I'm pleased this way was set up just for me. I was too blind to see to how much she I sir Kai and me, then Russia had to flee. I don't always get what I want, but it's his will, not mine. Long as it equate the salvation, I'll be just fine. Created in his image for his purpose, so I'm living lovely. This tangible will perish, so I love for what's above me and I. I got my strength, reasonable health, and no complaints from me. I should be dead, and I'm not There's none truer, believe me. I have served the falsehood where wash the ways are all good. Just pray and ask the Lord for forgiveness. Then your fault's good. <laughs> nah, he said that way up for the heathens. Christians, atheists, false religions, them credence. Only one way, one are done, one rock, one foe. Your Ukanan, Yah's gracious, showed his patience when he gave me another chance. Instead of death, gave me light, now I can do my dance. I don't deserve it. That's why every service I'm pressing in Want to sleep easy when my time come Ain't no rest in sin, not living lesser than I'm an aristocrat of a high society The sky's where my limits at I'm being blunt, not sugarcoating I want you to figure that I'm on a low level I'm moving on up, but not the Jefferson I got my strength, reasonable health And no complaints from me I should be dead or harvested I'm made away for me This world sometimes seems Living blind, follow philosophy Just like a colossity bag full of piss poor My life was it Dying in the sinking ship Fox escape Had to cut it quick Too legit to buy him a nefasha My being Fire burned away Impurity So my rule I steady beaming Our aura of the arrives Had to shine His beauty gleaming Like precious jewels Peculiar arm In and out of season Hope the reason he saw me fit Was to mow me But salvation Beautiful plan set before me For my rule Libation So I will thirst for his The power of Tank Kai And my patience Obedience will be fulfilled Cast down the imagination. Y'all is gracious, you're Uka non convicted, but rock is calm. You could word the sentence, but my pardon was his recall of vapor that fade away. Short time, I'm here to stay, but I'm so thankful that he called me to his beautiful way. Yeah. I got my strength, reasonable health, and no complaints from me. I should be dead or harvested. I'm made away for me. This world sometimes seems rough. But it's a beautiful way, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a beautiful way. Weak. 
can't agree. I need Yahusha to be saying that's my desire. Huh. Had to choke out those overhangers like Uriah. Huh. If I did not was headed for that lake of fire. Huh. I only serve Yahusha, he the sole proprietor. Huh. I only serve Yahusha, he the sole proprietor. Huh. He say my kai, without him I can't go higher. Huh. I do for all the events that you let transpire. Huh. Forgive me for my role and be is never higher. He died on the tree, uh-huh. the price redeemed for us to be free, free. so we can believe, so we won't be out waiting to be glean. Yahusha is true, true, and he is the gate for us to walk through. We must be brand new, new. to get in my cool. I was out here lacking, death was out here lurking. Out here lurking. Kai, I don't deserve I don't. it, that's why I serve it. Kai, I don't deserve it, that's why I serve it. I was living foul, and that's my life was worthless. Yahusha gave me purpose, that's why I serve it. Hey y'all, this your girl LV, and you are listening to ZMR Radio. Yeah! Shalom and welcome back to the Request Live Show. The reason you are hot Mondays while everybody else hates them. Check out your screen. You see the green square floating across the top. Simple as ZMR Radio. We take it, we give it back to the people, and we grow with the rest. Check us out on Facebook and YouTube and Telegram. Tell a friend and tell a friend. We are live simultaneously streaming, streaming across all three of those platforms. Check out kadazamar.bandcamp.com for hot doodles on demand just for you. If you like what you heard here or just ZMR in general, majority of what you heard, you'll be able to find there at kadazamar.bandcamp.com. Now, as far as the cash app is concerned, remember we are... Heading toward the end of our countdown toward our 100th episode, this would actually be episode two, which means we got one more episode to the 100th episode. And yes, that gift that you give, that we give back to the people, we have definitely been growing with the rest. So you will permit, you will be able to see that. Ain't that right, Kim Folk? Right. Shout out to uh, Richie, wherever he is. I have no idea where Richie is, but. Come on, horn. <laughs> That's what we had. Oh, I didn't hear it. But I told my co host, we usually would what? gather and we would gather and be like, hmm, so what we got for the people today? No, and bet. sometimes we have something. Sometimes we be off the cuff. A lot of times we be off the cuff. And it's fun when we off the cuff because, I mean, anything can happen. But at the same token, I told them that I had something. If it's okay that I share it with the people and you all, I'm gonna take that. They say silent is consent, so I'm gonna take that as consent. And there it is. So, hold on, what happened? Huh? You say take what is consent? What happened? Silence is consent. You never heard that? Uh, yeah, but what, what, what we consent to? There's a lot of people in jail for that. Oh, I'm done. Okay, so <laughs> was in my journey on the internet sometime at some point i don't remember when so you know how you have videos that come up and um you look at them and be like oh i never knew that so what i'm trying to pull up right now is a video that i have of a certain somebody and their parents not being who we thought their parents were now we know in uh all na- all families have secrets and things of that nature but I think I'm going to end up just dropping this in the chat because for whatever reason, I can't pull it up. So I'm going to drop it in the chat and then I'm going to tell you all what it is. So on the Internet, there is a rumor floating around that I'm going to say I believe because the um, the resemblance is just too much, even down to mannerisms. So apparently the Internet has it that CC. Houston, Sissy Houston is not Whitney Houston's birth mother. That in fact, Whitney Houston's birth mother is a woman named Teresa Graves, who was an actress that happened to um, basically be a side chick for Sissy with her uh, dad. I think her daddy named John. But anywho, supposedly, allegedly, Whitney Houston is the child of her, the guy that we know as her father, but a woman named Teresa Graves. Now, if you look at that video and go look at videos of your own and just research Teresa Graves, 
Not only does Teresa Graves really look like Whitney Houston, but she also sounds like her and they even have the same mannerisms. Hmm. I saw that, but I don't know if they look alike. But I saw it though. I saw it, so I think you sent it to me. Um, yeah, I don't know about it. I don't know, but you, you, but you said you you uh you believe it. You believe your 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 belief on it is you think it's true. I do because not only have I seen the video that I just put in the chat, but I've watched other videos of just Teresa that had nothing to do with Whitney Houston, and I think that their mannerisms are the same. The way that they speak is the same. And there's some things that you just get inherently get from your parents. Like you don't even have to be around your parents. There are people that have never met their birth parents. But if they had the opportunity to do so, I'm sure if they sat around them long enough, they would see different traits and characteristics, even down to things that you can't necessarily physically see as far as like physical characteristics of like your eyes, your nose, your mouth, things like that. But there are certain mannerisms that you have. There's a certain energy that you have that's just inherent. You just get it from your parents, just GP, unless something happens yeah. to kind of... No, you're right. Direct. So, you're right, brother. Well, yeah. I would say in my experience, my brother didn't grow up with my father, but he acts just like like my dad and I, I say me as well. Like, like sense of humor-wise, joke-wise, like same thing. So that was that was surprising when I, when I recognized that, so... Yeah. I agree with that. I think that's cool. I think Jeanette is just overall are uh, pretty cool how um yeah, how basically you can you can be do you can be a duplication of a person even if you never met them. It's just almost down to I don't know how to really describe it cuz it's just like really amazing to me that a person if you have children, I guess you could you could see it more. But um how is it like? I guess I'll ask the parents out there because I have considered that. There's a shout out to said. Um, his son looks exactly like him, just like a smaller version of him. And I've considered to myself looking at them one day, like I wonder how it feels to turn around and look at somebody and see your exact face on them, and it's not a twin or anything like this. Your child, you just turn around and you see your face. You're like, wow, that's my face on a whole nother. Okay. Do my kids look like me? Your children look like a younger you. Like, as of right now, I can't look at them and be like, yeah, it look just like you. Okay. Other than their, like, expressions and things like that. Like, Malak has a lot of your expressions. Um, he has some of the mannerisms as far as, like, how he speaks <laughs> and how he'll act appalled at certain things. <laughs> like, faith. <laughs> you can see faith in him when he does that stuff. But then there are other facial expressions, like his bewilderment and stuff like that, that reminds me of you. But just I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna send a picture that I that that remind me of Malak. I'm gonna send a picture. But other than that, I don't know. If, I don't know if um you really can't tell how much your kids look like you. But just look like even growing up, I ain't think I look like my dad at all. Mm. But I do, and it's weird. I look exactly like him, and it's crazy. But yeah. growing up, I, I never seen it, and I wanted to. I you know I felt like I wanted to look like him. But which of your you know. parents do you think you look like, Lady? So like my daddy. People said it growing up. I was basically coincidentally with her. And I didn't see it until um I think when he went to jail and I um was looking at some old photos. Of course I was older and I was like, darn, I do look like him. I look exactly like him. And some people say he look like me, he does not. He looks exactly like his father. How oh, how about mannerisms? Do you have any mannerisms that you caught yourself or anything you caught yourself doing? You like, dang, that's all I tell you. Do. Yes, looks like my, you. Uh, you have not seen a picture of his dad. No, I seen it. I seen his dad. He like his dad too. I don't they see him like at all. Nah, at like all. Like but like like mannerisms. Yes, he has so many of his mannerisms, and it's crazy because he's not even around them. But he has them. See, that's what I'm saying. You you get that stuff inherently. You never have to meet your birth parent. It's just that's ingrained in your genetics. And you'll be mm-hmm. doing something. You'll be like, man, why do I do that? And then you meet your parent and be like, that's why I do that. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool, too, that, like, even when it comes to physical resemblance, how it can slide. It's almost like one of those uh, illusion, optical illusion pictures, how if you look at it one way, it looks one way. And if you look at it another way, it looks another way. That's kind of how it is with children, too. Because I've seen children, I'm like, dang, you look just like such and such. Like, whatever, one side of your, uh, one of your parents. But then they'll do something or you look at them at a different angle 
And then they look like the other parent. Like for me, rule of thumb is if you get the eyes, you win the face, even though the whole face isn't yours. Since the focal point is the eyes, if you get the eyes, you get the whole face. I've probably seen, I seen one time where Ian looked like me. He was standing right there by the door and he did something. I was like, oh, and he was like, what? I said, you look just like me at that moment with whatever he did. But that was the only time. Any other time, I, I see his dad all day. So which of your children do you see yourself in most about? I don't I don't really know. I know Malak right now, I know Malak his like eyes. I would say those that's my eyes right there. But he got his whole his mom's whole bottom half from the nose down is his mom. Yeah. Yeah. That chin. <laughs> that that's chin. <laughs> oh yeah. That's his mom. Well, yeah, but, um, like, like, like he got a crimson chin from fairly it, that's, what it, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> but um but no, I don't I don't know. Uh, it's still it's still debatable if these are my children. Um, I would just. You say are that. not the father. No, I'll with you. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta tell y'all something crazy. I'm about to send it to hell. Uh oh, uh oh. No, it's funny. I'm gonna send that picture that I was talking about. I'm looking for it, and I'm gonna send something else. I've seen it's, it's crazy. I'm gonna put it in the uh, the chat. There it is. But yeah, I've I've always found that fascinating, and um, but when it comes to Whitney Houston, yeah. Like families, this I, I I can't speak for any other nationality. I'm sure it happens, but it seems very common. Like uh, we were talking about something. Lady V sent me something where somebody found out that their mother is actually their sister, and they got the same daddy. I hadn't watched the whole thing yet, but mm-hmm. um, stuff like that happens. People die, and then their secrets come out. And sometimes it takes it takes decades. Sometimes people just digging around finding stuff, and you find. Yeah, things ain't what you thought it was. So I thought that was interesting because she really does look like her to me. But the jury is out and we will never know because, um, well, yeah. Is is she still alive? No, I was just going to say she died. I think she was like 53. She died in a house fire. But I found found that convenient too. Like, I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think think about Mariah Carey, mama and her sister? Now with Mariah Carey, uh, if you didn't know, those of us, those of you all listening, Mariah Carey's mother and sister recently died on the same day in unrelated incidents. Um, based on what I've read about Mariah Carey's relationship with her sister, I'm not sure that. I don't know. I don't know Mariah Carey. I don't know how she deals with stuff. But oh wow, that does look like Malak. If you are not in the Zen Bar Radio chat on Telegram, check out Tell a Friend, Tell a Friend. Come on over on Telegram and join the chat where all kinds of poison on the table. You see it? You see the poison? Right now, we are looking at a picture of Kadash Bang Boogie. And he looks. Whoa! He looks just like his son. If you are not on Telegram, check out your screen on YouTube, Facebook, and other streaming platforms. That I see Malak and I see Joy. Uh, I do see Joy. I seen that picture. I was like, oh I man, that's, that's yeah, Malak. I see Joy. Yeah, I see also, Joy too. Yes. I also see that big old bag of Wonder Bread. That's what, <laughs> you see that poison on the table. You see it? Now back that then, a, that, was, that was real bread back then. That, that was good that bread back then. Now. Is that your dad? Yeah, that's my pops. That's, oh, that's, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I see you definitely. You got his eyes. Well, yeah, definitely got his eyes, but yeah, you look just see. like Malak. Eyes, yeah, you, you definitely have eyes. Say it again. Yeah, you, you got them sideburns. No, oh. no, you don't. Not sideburns. Well, yeah, the patchy beard. I got, I got the patchy beard. It's never uh-huh. connected either. So, yeah. So, who is that in the background? That's like super happy about whatever this occasion is. She look oh, like. Oh, that's funny. Let me tell you a story about that. That's oh. my oldest sister, Natasha. Right. And she's actually, if y'all remember, um, it was somebody used to did go she, here. She's did, did she just put, come down? No. Was well, that her? I, no, that was the one that's with the striped dress is um that's the me. one that came down. Okay. Yeah, but the one that's behind me, that's actually um somebody that used to go here with us. That's they actually first cousins. I didn't know that. They got the same last name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that. Okay, yeah. But that's crazy. No. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's the one picture I was like, oh yeah, that's that's I guess he's my son, but 
the other ones that be falling, you know, whenever they're trying to catch a football. I don't know who who child that is. <laughs> that's the that's messed oh, up. Oh, you the pappy. Oh, oh you're the, the pappy. It's all, it's all over everywhere. Yes. Shout out to Wendy J. She say yes. That's my lot. It is. All day that look, even the expression that's like Malak yeah. resting expression to look around at people like that. Like, how are you doing? I'm Malak. Yes, yes, and yes. you wonder where he gets it from. Yeah, it's so I expect to see this picture floating around, Jay Rich. I'm about to delete it though, but yeah, that's oh, it's it. not you can't pull anything out of here, so it shouldn't be floating around. Oh, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get it somehow, somehow, <laughs> some way. Yeah, you can't, you can't pull it out of here. Yes, his whole demeanor, I agree completely. That definitely looks like Malak. Definitely. Oh no, nah. Malak, Malak could couldn't, he couldn't hang with me back in the day. I was probably looked the same, but not nah, Malak too soft. They, oh, wow. he, nah. Oh, no, nah, actually, no, nah, I take that back. Back then I was I was sweet. I was a sweet kid. Uh, okay. Sweet what happened, bro? The streets. The streets. The streets. The streets killed me. The streets killed me. The streets killed me, man. <laughs> oh man. If y'all haven't seen it. Or if y'all hear us talk about that, there's this video. And ladies, you can put it in the chat if you want to. There's this video of this lady. There's two ladies. It's a very, very short video. But there's two <laughs> ladies. And one lady is like, yeah, I've been running the streets since I was six. Since I was six years old, I've been running the streets. And it's, it ends up being like one of those Annie Up story situations. Because another lady raises her hand and she's like, streets killed me. And so the other girl keep repeating, I've been running the streets since I was six. So since I guess she feel like, oh, well, that's the best you got. Well, I got better. Man, I was gang raped, shot up with heroin, and left for dead. Streets killed me. Like, it was it was very interesting and hilarious. So. Just kept, it just kept going. Like, <laughs> who has the worst story? Like, when? And it just kept going. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. So, yes, there are times that the streets may kill you, but you, you just keep <laughs> you just keep standing. It's so hilarious. Oh, man. Shout out, shout out to Wendy J. Again, we appreciate your request. We're about to get done rolling. In the meantime, between time, because I'm sure y'all hit a hit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Another one. Whoa, whoa. And another, another one. one. Uh-huh. She looked like, oh, yeah. look like this dude here. Like you was a whole hack of trouble. Check out your screen, folks. Check out your screen. We rolling down memory lane. Oh, Went yeah. to the Kadash boogie looking just like Malak. Let me see if I can get a picture of Malak so the people can see him too. Goodness, this looks just like Malak. Now, could we explain why she looks fed up with you? Like, I got she was. I'm pretty sure she was. I used to get on her nerves. I was, I was, he, I was he probably annoyed. wasn't trying to be still. That's what it was. Yeah. Like, be still, yeah. Joker. Probably. Yeah, I was, I was, I was doing a lot. I was doing the most back then. Y'all see the headline? Y'all see the headline? Yo, I mean, you I'm look good. exactly like Malak. Like without a doubt, like you look exactly like Malak. Yeah, yeah, I, I see that all day, all day. That is that is definitely seen. I'm trying to get okay. We got a picture of Malak. Now there's another picture that you have, um, and that picture looks just like Kevin, the one with the red shirt. Oh, I had a um. That's when my chest was out. I can't. I don't know if I can put that out. You know. Hold on. <laughs> No, you have it. It's, I mean, it's it's out in public if you know where to find it. I'm not gonna say where you can find it, but yeah. Had, it, hold on, let me see bird, I, bird chest up. I think <laughs> no, uh, not that one. <laughs> no, I think one. hold on, hold on. Let me see those. Hold on. It's a, it's it's uh, it's not far from or far from reach. I don't want to say where it's at if you don't want it in public. No, no, no. It's straight. Wait, hold on. I think I know where that. I seen it. I want to see. it. Yeah, that one. Those of you that don't know, yeah. this is Malak. This is Boog's seed, as Boog would say. That's my seed. Mm-hmm. He looks exactly like his father. With a medallion seen. around his neck. What know? with a medallion around his neck? <laughs> what is that? Don't worry about it. Shout out Daniel. Forgive me for not being hooked. I'm not worthy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worthy of your hipness. But yes. So my God. there it is. We're sharing pictures. He's looking for them, and we will have more of them for you right after we roll these hits, because you came here for the hits, and I know this. Sit tight. The streets I know this. Like praise and worship of Yahuwah through his son, Yahushua Hamashiach. I know 
this, yeah. I know this, yeah. I know this, yeah. I know this, yeah. I know this, yeah. I know this, yeah. Breaking past all my mother past. Trouble time is soon will pass. Got snakes and grass to see for tests. No worries, you soon will crash. Consider the rent through every test. Make me your bed, my nigga that says. I'm Yahoo Dean until I rest. I thank y'all for this thought process. Your adversary pursue me, he devoured, won't me dead. I feel tension, this from everywhere, but good just be in my head. Stay the course with no remorse. I live good, dust with no regret. With you, who on my side, I'm fit for battle like who next. So much going on. Know to distract me, I notice you would keep his hands up over me. I notice, honestly, you can tell the shaman, yeah. I notice, can't let nobody come and take the seat. I notice, so much going on to distract me. I notice, you would keep his hands up over me. I notice, honestly, you can tell the shaman, yeah. I notice, can't let nobody come and take the seat. And chastisement with sufferings and pain Persecution, get used to it, it's all just the rain yeah. Comfort and silence, this came with the change yeah. Consumed in my but the show was the way yeah. The standing revelation, courtesy your move Got encouragement, support, and so who walks the grave yeah. Strong consolation, so press not in vain Please, yeah, give me the strength to endure all my days So much going on to distract me I notice, you who would keep his hands up over me I notice, honestly, can tell the shaman, yeah I notice, can't let nobody come and take the seat I notice, so much going on to distract me I notice, you who would keep his hands up over me I I notice, honestly, can tell for Shama I notice, can't let nobody come and take the seat. I notice, so much going on to distract me. I notice, you would keep his hands up on me. I notice, honestly, can tell for Shama I notice, can't let nobody come and take the seat. I notice, so much going on to distract me. I notice, you would keep his hands up on me. I notice, honestly, can tell for Shama I notice, can't let nobody come and take the scene. I notice. Oh, I love- 
Lift my hands, I gotta give him the praise today. Looking for a crown that never leaves, no fades away. Salvation was the assist, I gotta make the J. Till I hear the sound of that swishing, and I know I made it. Once I'm there, it'll be no debating, and I'll be so elated. Because my sacrifice is heat delighting, and enjoy the smell. My Yahuwah ain't no COVID patient. And if you were hot, I just go and say, my eye cool thinking on them like every day I know you got a right yeah 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 he gonna make a way yeah 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 he gonna make a way yeah 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 he gonna make a way 
you out loud, let your uh -huh rain down Today I take your hand, dedication of intent To give you who my all, no matter if I'm poor or rich And I don't mind sacrificing if I end up with you I'm done lying to myself, it's time that I speak my truth That I'm on y'all side, I say that out loud I'm committed to serving and making sure my heart was proud And I don't wanna do anything that come against this marriage I made a vow, I plan to keep it till the day that I perish if I sing to you And my actions speak But you don't need no ring, do you? And I only said I do Cause I'm a man of my word If I seek the mouth first it give me what no I deserve No afraid so. to call on you Aye. You got my back so I can fall on you Aye. You got my loyalty when you're not around Aye. You shit ain't afraid to love you I lie, I'll let your uh -huh rain down When I call on you Aye. You got my back so I can fall on you Aye. You got my loyalty when you're not around Smile, wipe your tears when you cry. Remind you're not alone, but baby, it's you who and I. And we can't lose if we should have keep him first. You who would keep us through the better, hold us tight for the worst. I wanna do the things that always please you. I had to limit my mistakes, cause it ain't wise to grieve you. If he's just said to hide my wife, so watch this how I treat you. And you might help me, it's only right that I'ma need you. Baby, I'ma need you now. Search all over, finally to be where you at. I just needed some direction. The bar is better than Google Maps. I waited on my moment. Things get better with time. No mountain high, no valley low. I do, I made up. No ain't mind. afraid to call on you. Aye. You got my back so I can fall on you. Aye. You got my loyalty when you're not around. Aye. You shit ain't afraid to love you. I lie, I'll let your uh -huh rain down when I call on you. Aye. You got my back so I can fall on you. Aye. You got my loyalty. It's your boy, Be Breezy, man. You locked in with ZMR Radio. Breezy! Shalom, man. Welcome back to the Request Live Show. The reason you are hot Monday is why everybody else hates them. We are back. The final stretch. The final stretch. Plenty of hits that you want to hear. Look at your screen. Simple as ZMR Radio on Cash App. You see the green square. Give the gift that keeps on giving. As we often say, we take it, we give it back to the people, and we grow with the rest. Check us out on Spotify for archive shows such as Flourish Girl Flourish. And, of course, the Request Live show. Flourish Girl Flourish you can catch on Sundays at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It's time to flourish. Ain't that right? We here. You can't hear us. But we here. Ain't that right, Bull? We've been looking at, yep. at the genetic miracles of the Putnam seeds. And we got a picture of Book Older. And yes, it definitely does look like his older son, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. If you're out there and you got a YouTube channel, check out two channels we need you to subscribe to, subscribe to this evening. Primarily, if you didn't know, Faith P, yeah, she sells ATL. Go ahead. Check her out. Give her a follow on YouTube. She is approaching the 2,000 oh, yeah. follower mark. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Support our Akuf on YouTube. There it is. Video in the chat. Video in the chat of her twin. I think that Grace looks more like Faith, honestly. Yeah, she looked like uh, she looked like Faith. Yeah, I think I think Faith won that one. I can see your eyes, but yeah, Faith won won the the kid that is Grace. Check out Grace Elizabeth's Art Network as well on YouTube. We got a few links we need to be dropping. And last but not least, check out Scarn and Shadow. We out there playing them games. That's Scarn and Shadow. It's <laughs> Scarn and Shadow out there playing them games. Yes, yes. We they don't care Ms. about Fox. nobody. Huh? He don't care about nobody. Look, he'll go up to you. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm good. You know, you start expressing your life to him, letting him know, you know, everything you're going through. And the, the next thing out of his mouth is, are you subscribed? Yeah. He don't care. He is serious yeah. about his channel. Like, if you've, if you've ever talked to him, he he's, yeah, his daddy ain't telling no tales. And that's how you should be. You're supposed to be that way um, to be able to share whatever your vision is. And get it out there. Some people are shy to do that. And I admire him for um, for not being afraid to be like, hey, go subscribe yeah. to my channel. So there it is. I'm trying to teach him how to care, care about people. 
<laughs> she just about to care about people. I'm trying. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. It's Granny Ray. Yes, yeah, Granny Ray. I don't know what tones you just forwarded, but yes, we're gonna get that. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. That came off of. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, but yes, uh, Scrawny, Scrawny, uh, Shadow was inspired by Scrawny Ray. Scrawny Shadow three sixty. Hmm, yes, boy. Shadow 360 on YouTube. Check him out. He has quite a few videos. Um, and I think it's pretty awesome. Like I said, I think it takes real courage to walk up to somebody and be like, hey, how you doing? Bump your life. Check out my channel. Now you can talk about your life. If you care to do so. Yeah. Yeah. Did you Some have people it? saying they can't hear, hear well. Something's wrong with the. What happened? My wife was saying she couldn't hear. I don't know if something wrong with the channel or not, or the station. Uh, it can be checked, but it has been checked previously. Shout out to KRP. I'm glad you got your audio situation taken care of. Definitely, definitely. So you can hear the words that are coming out of our mouths. If you are not subscribed to Faith P, please subscribe to Faith P. If you're subscribed on one email address, we live in the land of multiple email addresses. I know you got another one with another YouTube channel. Go ahead. Subscribe with them. Like, I know you got another one. I know you got another one. Go ahead. Subscribe with them five, too. Like, take a moment out. Be like, you know what? I got about 10 more email addresses that I could use. Go ahead. Give the gift that keeps on giving the gift of a subscription. She is almost at 2,000 followers, and we definitely want to help her achieve that goal. Also, while you're out there, tell a friend to tell a friend. Follow ZMR Radio on YouTube, Facebook, Telegram, and Spotify. We are, again, approaching our 100th episode of the Request Live Show. This is episode two in our countdown to one. So, if you will permit, not only next Monday will be our 100th episode, it will also be our monthly Millie Mills giveaway. So, keep your ear tuned for that. Hungry Belly, listen close. You may win next week's meal. There it is. Yep, yep. What you got, Lady V? You quiet over there. What you eating? Well, there it is. Hmm. So when it comes to mannerisms, Will, we see your kids that look like you. When it comes to mannerisms, which of your children I'm back. like you? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which one? Um none of them. They don't they don't like nothing like me. I say um little Kevin is starting to when I when I put it like this, he acts really different around me. But when I watch him when he's in his own element, I see who he actually is. You know what I'm saying? Not saying he's being fake, but when you're around your dad, I guess you you just try not to make mistakes or you try to you, you know like just really on guard and this that and the other. So I, I recognize that. So, but when I watch him and while he's either playing or doing something, I see you know. Who he is, and it's, it's it's somewhat similar to what I was, but I was in a whole different environment. With that being said, you yeah. said with watching him play, so don't talk about that man falling again because obviously you've been falling too when you was little. Say that one more time. The phone was breaking up. I said you said that you've been watching him play and things of that mm-hmm. nature, and it's it's similar to you. So don't talk about him falling again. Cause I know you were falling when you were playing when you wow. were younger. Okay, so I have oh, oh, follow up oh, to that. Oh, oh. <laughs> About the chat, I guess I'm not gonna say it, but if you pay attention to the chat, his wife just said something, and with that, you never fell in that scenario. I'll tell you what she said in our chat, but with that, I'm sure you might have fell at some point. At some point, that would have caused you to fall, will it not? Who, you talking about me? Yes, check out our chat. Of course, I'll... I fell I fell plenty of times, but I can't oh. remember the last time I, f- like, fell and, like, couldn't get up. Like, I'm talking about, like, you now, tripped, you know. Oh, now you, done now you done added on, so you fell and you couldn't get up. So No, you know what I mean. Oh, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about fall. Like, can't catch your bounce. Like, you know, you tripped, let's say, the curve. Oh, I missed that. Boom. You step up. Okay, I got that. You look back, like, you know, and see if anybody saw you. Not not one of those. I'm talking about falling out, like trip, can't catch a balance, and you just got to accept the fact that, okay, I'm about to hit this ground. 
Except that haven't happened to me. Sense, that haven't happened to me. Girl, wait a minute. <laughs> At what point does that click in your head in the fall? Well, you oh, fall no, it's there. Like, yeah, it's slow motion. Listen, listen, that's his favorite. Because remember he was talking about a uh, faith story last week? And he was like, she just accepted her faith and feet went up in the air off the ground. Yeah, like, like for some reason, falling. You have to accept the fate as you're falling. No, man, you gotta fight something. You gotta fight. You gotta fight. Like so, midway through the fall, you gotta be like, okay, it, it's really slow. I, I mean, from what I remember when I fell, I'm not saying oh, it's been years. I don't remember. That's how long ago it's been. But I'm sure when I fell, I just didn't accept the fate of okay, just fall. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like I was like, oh. Like coated with like a, like a push up stance or at least a, just something. Shut up. Just something. Not. You say? I not just. Said, I went through the five stages of grief before I hit the ground. <laughs> what in the world? So, at, well, do you know at what point like falling became offensive to you? Because I, I know you weren't a kid growing I, up. Like, oh, nigga, silly. How you fall? It's, it's not offensive to me. Like, I don't know where this came from. It's not offensive, but. I don't know. I, I it, it could have a deeper meaning, but we ain't gonna do all that. I would just say, I would just say, you gotta be more careful, man. People, people look things, things break, thing. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got time to be. I guess maybe, maybe because my mom and dad yelled at me when I was a kid about falling. They had no money getting stuff fixed and all that. So like your bones. Oh wait, so really, your parents yeah. did fuss at you for falling? Maybe it was that. I don't know. I okay. said maybe it was that. If so, that might be what it is. Because you, like, you say you don't know where it came from. When we talked about falling, like, when I tell you, you were, like, thoroughly in disdain, <laughs> like, talking about, when you fall, how you fall? You too old to be falling. How it's you fall? Truth. Like, it's, it's illegal. Like, you've never yeah. fell before. No, y'all don't realize where we at. Like, we're in, like, upper 30s, 40s, man. We can't <laughs> be falling all over the place. You understand? Like, but so, your kid your is break in the upper 30s or 40s, and that baby is traumatized. He tripped over honestly, a root in the ground or something oh. that was in the grass. You know that that ground is uneven, first of all. The nah. poor guy slipped on some uneven on the ground. He fell, nah. and the first thing he did was looked up at his daddy. But you said, like, the 30s and the 40s, <laughs> And he ain't even made it to 20 yet, let alone 15. <laughs> and that baby is traumatized already. Listen, I'm just trying to listen. Listen, y'all don't understand what I go through. Look, because when Faith got to take them somewhere, it's like, and then I got to be the one to take it to the doctor. And so, all right, so me preventing things, like, okay, I don't feel like hearing that. So let me make sure these kids understand. Stand your behind up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I understand things happen. You trip, but when you can't just accept the fact that okay, I'm falling, I'm about to hit this ground <laughs> and just let it happen. You can't just let it happen. Shut you can't just have it. Try she to prevent said, it some type of way. She said, "We all look at Kevin when we fall. The pain comes after the shoe out." What? When I tell you, you have like this whole Ike projection. I said, "What?" No, I'm saying just just when it comes to falling, that's just what I see. Like somebody hit the ground, bam, bam, and then you turn around. And oh no! Nah, like, it, it I'll tell you what. I'll tell you this too. I handle, I guess, not being scared, but I handle worry. I guess different that, with with, that with anger. Like, I guess the little uh, that, uh, lady. That, that makes sense. It. Yes, I understand. It's not a, anger, it's but a, I would say because I don't be mad. It just be like. Let's say, because maybe somebody hurt themselves, and I guess I'll be more nervous or scared, like, and then my initial reaction, like, get up off the ground, you know, just, just to see if they can get up, I guess. So maybe that's a bad trade. I'll try to fix wait. that. Wait, you said just to see if they can get up. So what happens if they can't get up? Are well, you then like... I know they, then I know you, they really hurt. Are you but like, like I said, I'm... Go ahead. <laughs> like, with, I remember on uh, the movie What's Love Got to Do With It, which they, I think... If I remember right, uh, Tina Turner said she looked at it and what it really like it was bad, but it wasn't what the movie projected. But um, there was a scene where something happened. She was in the hospital, and he was like, "If you die, I'm gonna kill you. You hear me? I'm gonna kill you if you die." So are you like that? That's an ambulance. That's right. Like what in the world? That's how it seems like you are when they fall. If you fall, I think that was just older parents in general, because Mm. I've definitely experienced that too. Like. No, I just think it's just the older and what he said, you know, with, with his dad there and everything. He may, Boogie may have an older rearing style. Because if I'm not mistaken, 
I think uh, Henry Grady said that too. Wait, say that one more time. Who too? Henry Grady. To preach a plenty of times. Mm. I, remember, I, remember, I, remember, I, remember, I remember he was saying he was waiting for the bus <laughs> whenever he got stung or something. <laughs> With me, when the what I experienced as a younger kid, we never got fussed at for falling. We got fussed at for not keeping up because we did a lot of walking. So if you couldn't keep up, my mom would be irritated. Oh, because yeah. Of course, that she got to slow up too. to make sure that you okay. So we got fussed at for, come on, like we got fussed at for that. But if we fell, I don't remember my mother or my father being like, you nigga, how you fall? You got two feet. Like, I, it, it, it wasn't. Like, yeah. It was I more about not like, keeping up with them if we walked. Mainly my mom, because we didn't walk a lot of places with my dad. We walked a lot of places with my mom, and you had to keep up with her. Her and the legs was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do that too. I got. I got to stop that. That's. I guess that's pretty bad. I don't, I don't think it had no lasting effects on me. Other than- yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning things about myself, man. I'm trying to. We 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 get better, you know. Shout out yeah. to Chelsea. Yeah, I noticed that too. She be dragging them kids, man. <laughs> no, I didn't see somebody drag their kids. Their little legs. I ain't gonna call no names, but I didn't see somebody drag the kid. They push the kid by the head, like it. It be. Yeah, it be a oh, lot going. On. I don't think they realized it. It was just more so a matter of them trying to hurry up and like get to wherever they were going. But these were like little kids, like under five little kids. And it's like the baby's legs can only go so fast. If you want them to go that fast, just pick them up and carry them. Like don't don't drag them. Think about the babies. Think about the babies. Shut out the face. That happened. Lasting effect on me. Just don't fall. Just make sure you keep your equilibrium. It's not like, I'm but, telling you, it's not like this. that. It is let not like this. that. In Chelsea's defense, they do walk slow. Because when they I have them, the world, they, 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 I be like, come on. And it, 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 it ain't even tight. Exactly. On it. That's what I was going to say. Was, you're not, you're going to keep his name out your filthy little mouth. That's what I'm saying. I think on it, it's because of them little bow legs. He be no. trying to move them, but them little bad boys. Have I you know. seen him run? It's because my baby, he is enjoying the world. He's he's observing at that age, like legit. They are observing. They're still learning at that age. So they don't necessarily understand the urgency of you trying to get somewhere within a certain amount of time. They're just enjoying. I'm a kid. Look at that. That looks funny. That looks interesting. That's whatever. But she's not what I was talking about. Actually, I've never seen her. Oh, she's typing. She's typing. She typing home. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen her drag her children. She said, shout out to Chelsea. They be looking around and taking their time. Yes, that's what children do because they're observing and they're learning from the world around them. So they're not concerned about the fact that you're running late or you got only a small period of time to do something. They're just like, I'm with mommy, I'm with daddy, I'm with whoever, and I'm enjoying myself in the scenery. So if you want me to walk fast to pick me up or get a stroller. But don't drag me. Again, I've never seen her dragging her kids. Never. No, that was an exaggeration. I, I'm, you know, but yeah. No, I've seen it. It's not as rich for me. I've okay, seen it. Yeah, the poor baby I, feet was barely staying underneath. <laughs> but, yeah, but I'm I'm gonna try to do better with that. I don't think I don't like I said. I don't I don't know. Nobody's in trouble when they fall. I just I just be looking like how, like what did you fall over and what? Because Grace is the main one that would just be falling. Oh, I'd be yeah. like, hold on, man. I'm like, come on, man. What did you trip over? And she'll look at me like, I don't know. I'm like, yo, come on. Man. So I, I, I have I have seen Grace fall quite quite a bit. That's what I'm saying. I, I have I have I have and I I, I, have, I have wondered like what what happened, and there's nothing there, but maybe her feet. You know I have but I have seen her fall quite a bit. I have at the at the god like just out wow. of nowhere. I'm like oh shoot. <laughs> never seen. Oh shout out to Gracie Pooh. Please stay up. Stay up. Stay up. There it is. The don't that is hilarious. The, oh, what's the uh what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you in public? That's like very random. But what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you in public? Oh. As an adult or a child? Mm-hmm. Who? As an adult oh, wow. or a child? Either or. Either or. <laughs> Why the face? She said, uh, when I fell at the skating rink, I just laid there because Kevin wasn't there and I had the chance to soak in it. That doesn't make <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. It does. You gotta wait for the sting to wear off. 
And then get nah. up. Move on with your it's life. Get, you just laying laying up, man. Look, and they're going to be like, yo, who that? I don't know. Who she with? Who's, who wife is that? Oh, I know who wife that is. And then, and then, <laughs> look, I'm telling you. Nah. Sir, isn't that your wife over there with that head wrap on? She came in right. with you. <laughs> oh, that's the lady. That's the lady that fell. Or even I'm worse, isn't that Faith P who sells ATL? Right. <laughs> hey. all, all over the daggone. Paparazzi, TMZ all over the place. Faith P falling at the local skating rink. Local skating rink. There it is. Well, it's that time of night. A few seconds before, anyway. When we bring things to a close and we show our appreciation. For you spending your evening with us from eight thirty cash out at eight thirty p.m. to ten o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Is, yes, is anybody definitely. winning anything? Or no? What no. happened? No, we had no giveaways. <laughs> All right. Hit the cash out. <laughs> we have no giveaways, but more giveaways are to come. You will permit ZMR oh, yeah. oh, Radio. Yeah. Simple as that on Cash App. If you can't donate, tell a friend to donate. And if a friend can't donate, tell another friend to donate. Just keep telling somebody so somebody do something. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Lady Day. She says, no one does any of that at our age. If we see somebody else fall, we just feel bad for them. And you call them, they're okay. It depends on and, how they and, and, and you call it. No, nobody got no camera out. Yeah, it depends on how they fall for me. Because, yeah. Woo! You're going viral. Real if you quick. fall a third <laughs> Going to laugh after I make sure you okay. If I see you move, I'm going to giggle, and you're going to be offended, and we're still going to move on with our lives. I don't know why falling is entertaining, but it, it is in a sense. Uh, also, a time where falling may not be entertaining. Fat man scoop died over the weekend. He go. Fell, oh, um, he fell out over. <laughs> during the I'm sorry because I thought about people falling and how it's entertaining. Sometimes people fall and they fall because they die. That's a time where it's not entertaining. We almost made it. We almost made it. But we're in Mexican overtime, y'all. It's been a while. It's been a while, though, so I'll let it go. What do you think? Who who else died? We're in Mexican overtime, so we appreciate her mama. What happened? He asked who else died. I said Whitney Houston and her mama. Oh, yeah. Well, somebody Oh, yeah, Mariah Carey, mama and sister. I didn't bring that up. That was brought to me. Mm -hmm. That was brought to me. Um, are we doing an extended show next weekend? Not that I'm aware of, but keep it locked because we may or may not, and you will find out if you are there. So again, we appreciate you all this evening, our listeners, because truly, 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 without our listeners and supporters, there is no ZMR radio. So yeah, next Monday, y'all sit tight, be safe. Shalom, ha, too late. Yeah, ha, shalom. Appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nine times out of ten, you niggas gon' hate. Gon' hate. Nine times out of ten, you can't even relate. You can't even relate. Nine times out of ten, the love you show is fake. Yeah, fake. Ooh. I'm coming for everything I deserve, but I'ma take because I'ma serve you. Who? Let's be honest, ain't nobody true. We run it up, we got endurance, I and our forefather was our fluent. They said I'm marking our pattern in the bar. Hell, what we better with? We not the same. I'm sorry, but no, not really, cause we far from average. Oh man, now I see. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, now I see. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, makes sense. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, makes sense. That's why all y'all mad. I yell at watch it, it's the pout. We on top, but we hide the mountains. They were thirsty for flows. We'll come unto me and watch how I open the fountain. When it comes to the hits, I'm consistent. And it's better you rap what you live. Ain't no love for no Christian, cause they're the ones who gon' be swimming with fishes. Look, any money mode, we were the people was chosen. I saw my all of my wrists was swollen. You up in here, now watch me go bowling. You'll get shot if you open your mouth against what your hoodies about. I suggest a safer route. This verse was a quickie, I'm in and I'm out. Ain't no debate, I'm a sir, you who. Let's be honest, ain't nobody true. We run it up, we got endurance. And our forefather was our influence. They said I'm marking that pattern at the bar, hell, what we better with. We not the same, I'm sorry, but no, not really, cause we far from having rich. Oh man, now I see. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, makes sense. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, now I see. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, makes sense. That's why all y'all mad. No cap. Health your gut, and I'm 
bring them out. Holla, ain't supreme right now. Breeze is hard to beat them around. These haters must get seen about. About my fam, watch me go mine. But that chop a single lot. We gon' walk the streets to go. But we call that freedom time. Got to get Ruach a dot. Hit the rock where we holla. Sold my soul, but sold the yacht. See the flesh, it profit not. Haters like to pop a lot. But yet they hate the parking lot. Get the bar when pop a lot. Thrice a week, we send a God. Still, you send us hawking not. Miss for cut, we all we got. On my lock, yeah, all my art. Rock my teeth, that's all my lock. The heart, my art, we on the lock. Our arms are locked, that's fortified. Send us in, they all should die. Talk a lot to all should die. Nine times out of ten, you niggas gon' hate. Gon' hate. Nine times out of ten, you can't even relate. You can't even relate. Nine times out of ten, the love you show is fake. Yeah, fake. I'm coming for everything I deserve, hey. I'ma take it. Because I'ma serve your hood. I am. Let's be honest, ain't nobody true. Yeah. We run it up, we got endurance. I and our forefather was our influence. They, they said that mark and I pattern it. The bar, hell, what we better I with. Do. We not the same, I'm hey. sorry, but no, not hey. really, cause we fucking hey. average. Oh man, now I see. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, makes sense. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, now I see. That's why all y'all mad. Oh man, makes sense. That's why all y'all no mad.
got it bumping. Uh, I remember nights I cried, man, I prayed for this. Hoping one day I can reach you, and it's not a miss. And I'm calling like I need you, man, I hope you answer. Do you even hear? Hello? I know you paid the ransom. It's so funny how life can change direction. And lately I've been doing some reflecting. Like, am I giving this my all? Am I good enough? Wondering if my life is just sufficient. Listen, I don't mean to bore you much. But it's tough to deal with my thoughts sometimes. And I can't talk to my friends because they think that they fine. And I know they think I'm crazy and they ain't even with it. And we growing further day by day because I can feel it. But something in my heart wasn't right. And I'm uneasy when I'm sleeping at night. I know I feel like you're calling me. You gotta separate. But I hope you hear my cry. Yeah, please don't delay. I don't know. To my current situation A lot is going on And I hope you grant me patience To fight this good fight So I can run on And I can keep standing As long as I can hold on I had a few losses along the way And sometimes it really hit me And I don't know what to say But you chose me to face it all So I know it's worth it Cause all I ever wanna do is be to me Perfect And I know I gotta learn to suffer just to rain Even a loss inside of me Can you take away the pain? Maybe you can hold my hand, tell me it's gonna be okay I gotta stand to do your will, you know it's best for me And you set me on a plan, I mean I know my purpose And it took a while to get it, but I know I'm worthy I pull out, you hear my cry, you strengthen my hand And let me take it patiently so I can understand why I don't know what I would do If I didn't have you And if I didn't have you Cause you're the best thing that happened to me Can't 
say, but you know we gon' switch. He has a reward and he's coming real quick. So we all better get it right. Look at his split. I'm going up now. Up now with your hoops. Who's that? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what it is, what it ain't. It's your guy Spider Ray, Rajan. And you tune in to ZMR Radio. Yahoo the gang. Hey y'all, this your girl L V. Serving y'all. This is Danielle Jones, and you're listening to ZMR Radio. Don't touch that guy. <laughs>